To add one of the Mogert assets to your timeline in Premiere Pro, open the Essential Graphics panel by selecting Window, Essential Graphics from the top menu if it isn't already opened. Then in the Browse tab, use the search bar to find the assets you're looking for. All of the Motion Pro Mogert assets start with the letters MP and are labeled by category, subcategory, as well as some descriptive keywords. For example, you could search for MP two glitch lines scramble to find a title with two lines and a scramble glitch animation. Click, hold, and drag the thumbnail of the element you want to use from the Essential Graphics panel into your timeline. If you don't see anything, just wait a few seconds for the element to show up in the timeline before letting go. Mogard elements are created at 4K resolution. If you're working with a sequence that's in a different resolution and you're adding motion graphics elements on top of an already existing edit or footage, make sure that you right click on the Mogard element and choose scale to frame size. You want to do this before using the scale property in the effect controls in Premiere Pro. This will prevent a position error. Again, Make sure to right click and choose scale to frame size before changing the scale property in the effect controls. If you want to customize the motion elements once you've added them to the timeline, head back over to the Essential Graphics panel and click on the Edit tab. Here you will find a selection of different controls for each Mogard element. If you'd like to see a live preview of the graphic elements, you can do so by opening the Motion Pro Premiere Pro Files folder in your download, then select and open the Graphics folder, as well as the folder for the graphics category you wish to use. Open the Premiere Pro file that you wish to use and turn on Icon View in the Project window. You can preview by moving the mouse back and forth over the thumbnail or by clicking and scrubbing using the blue bar beneath the thumbnail. You can also use the search bar in the project window to find the elements that you're looking for. And once you have what you need, click, hold, and drag the thumbnail of the graphic into the timeline. Then select the graphics layer and open the edit tab in the essential graphics panel. If it's not open, you can choose window, essential graphics panel from the top menu. And then you can adjust all of the properties for that animation. If you make copies or duplicates in the timeline, each one will have their own set of properties. Just click and edit in the Essential Graphics panel.